part of what we're looking at here is the role of fungi uh, in the soil, which most soils are deficient in. They seem much less hardy than bacteria. But the role of fungi in relation to calcium. Now, there's a woman called Professor Elaine Ingham, who is a big player in our understanding of soil biology, and she's popularised this concept of compost tea and so forth. But she's done one group of studies that have really been a simple, um, dramatic, best study, the best little trials are simple things. She took a pot of potting mix, sterilised potting mix, no clay, no humus, it's just sterilised pine bark, and she adds in a liquid calcium. It's actually a micronised oyster shell in liquid form. Runs it through the top, runs a heap of water, and measures the leachate. Well, there's nothing, there's no calcium to grab hold, of, you know, with its negative char positive charge, to, negative charge to grab hold, uh, no clay, sorry, with its negative charge to grab hold of calcium in that soil, and you wouldn't expect much holding capacity, and there was none. 100% came out the bottom. You put it in the top, and all of it was leached out with a bunch of water. Then she took some lawn clipping compost. Now we're talking, you know, the, the, the bacterial dominated compost, because they eat that small, easy to eat stuff. Uh, and she puts that in there, mixes a little bit in there, runs the calcium, same amount of calcium, heap of water, what comes out the bottom? Well, 98% came out the bottom, 2% retained. So the bacteria grabbed a little bit on its way through. Then she takes a green compost, you know, that, that spade made with no manure, that is just covered in visible fungal hyphae, and she adds some of that to the third pot. She pours in the calcium, pours in the water, measures the leachate. Nothing, zero, comes out the bottom. 100% retention of calcium with no clay in the soil. How on earth is that working? She blows it up on a screen. Every fungi and his dogs grabbed hold of a part of, of calcium holding on for grim death. What does that tell us? Well, it tells us how important calcium is for a start. They wouldn't let one little particle go past them. Every last piece they grabbed. How important is this mineral? And it tells us that calcium uh, retention is not just a physical clay-based thing, there's actually a biological link to it. If you've got fungi in your soil, you'll hold on to calcium. And it tells us that the availability of calcium may also be biologically linked. Why? Because calcium, limestone has five kilograms. It's got 400 kilograms of calcium in a tonne of limestone, and only five of them are soluble. So what did George Washington do about that, the man they call the father of American agriculture? He understood the equation. You take the lime and you burn it. You set up lime kilns across the American countryside. You burn the lime, you create calcium oxide, a bit of water, it becomes calcium hydroxide, and that's got 30 times more. That's got 150 kilos of instantly available calcium that fired up American agriculture because he knew the deal. And it was hugely important for where that, uh, that country's gone to, which is the biggest producers of food on the planet. Uh, so, you know, that's a lesson there for you. Cal calcium hydroxide is actually a valuable substance, real hot. You can burn cricket pitches out with it, put some humic acid and buffer it, uh, put it out there in a liquid form and watch what it does in terms of immediately available calcium. So uh, the deal is you only got five kilograms in a tunnel and the bugs hold onto it and he's spewing out his acids onto it and making some of that more rapidly available. So we now find people in New Zealand taking a fungal dominated compost and adding it to lime and selling it. They're one third compost, two thirds lime, and that lime works so much better. Or you put brown coal. Why brown coal or humates? Because that's the most powerful known stimulant of fungi, and they then do what we just described with calcium. So those are new findings on how we can manage calcium.